Hi, my name is Mukund Karve. I'm a faculty member in the Department of Food Science at Rutgers University. I teach the food engineering lecture in the Introduction to Food Science course. Food engineering is a very broad topic where the principles of mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, chemistry, physics, thermodynamics, mathematics, they all come together in manufacturing and processing of food. So broadly you can categorize food engineering as manufacturing of food and processing of food. In food manufacturing, you take raw materials or ingredients and convert them into a finished product. An example of that is breakfast cereals or Cheetos or combos. For example, this machine here, which is called an extruder, is quite commonly used to make products such as this. So what we started with was corn meal or corn flour, which was put in the back end of this machine. And the machine processed it, processed it in a matter of one minute or two minutes. In doing so, it also cooked the product and it came out of this small die, as it is called, which has a tiny hole, which is about three millimeters. But when it came out, it expanded into this giant piece, which is about 10 millimeters in diameter. And it was cut into pieces to get the shape that you see here. They look like Cheetos or corn curls. So how the material was processed in this machine, what the machine did to it, and what we can change to improve and maintain the quality is what food manufacturing is all about. Now let's talk about what's involved in food processing. So in food processing, we'll primarily talk about processes and technologies that are used to preserve food. By that, I mean killing the harmful bacteria in food so they, the food is safer to consume. Traditionally, heat has been used to do this. What heat does is kill the bacteria in products such as this, a canned product, or products such as this, which is a box product or even a product such as this, which is the bottle product. But heat has inherently side effects. For example, heat can destroy the nutrients, it can affect the color, it can change the texture unfavorably. So there are now new and emerging technologies that get away from heat. An example of that is high pressure processing. What you see here is a vessel in which the food product is subjected to pressures as high as an elephant standing on a dime. What the pressure does is kills the bacteria in the food without changing the taste, flavor, and the color of the product. An application of that that has succeeded is clams. Here's an example of a clam in which the high pressure processing makes the clam safer to consume, but it retains the original raw taste that people like to have. So in this class, you'll also learn about application of ultraviolet light, ozone, electric field, magnetic field, ultrasound waves to process food. So I hope you will join us this summer to learn about these emerging technologies in food manufacturing and food processing as well as other topics related to food science.